Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today I'm going to be working with the brand new and very elegant shell set from the Summer of Stamping release and I'm going to do some spot foiling and showcase my collection of shells in a shadow box on my card front. I'm going to start by taking all the solid background images or base images and get them laid out uh, onto a quarter sheet of Nina Solar White and I'm working with the Mini Misty platform here. This is going to help me mass produce tons of these. So I have them in reserve for any time I want to use them. I'm going to ink up with some uh, Aqua Sky Concord 9th dye ink, which is a gorgeous shade of uh, aqua blue. And then I'm going to swap in another panel. And I'm just going to repeat this process for as many of these shells as I want to make. And I can clean off the solid stamps and continue stamping without removing the stamps from the platform. Just clean them off with my chamois and switch to a different color. Uh, for the base color. But once I'm done stamping all of these, then I can go ahead and clean them and swap them out for the detail images. I'm just going to lay these right over where they need to be, right there on that same sheet of cardstock there. And then I can start inking up with this beautiful Daydream color by Catherine Pooler. So I'm going to ink up all of those detail images, but the one shell that does not have a detail image, I'm just going to rock and roll the ink and just ink up along the edge of that to get my shading on that. Because it already has some uh, very skinny stripes that give it that detailed effect, so it does not actually have a coordinating detail image to go with it. But you can see you're going to get a really beautiful look by just doing that rock and roll inking along the edge of that stamp. Now there is one last image for the Nautilus um, that goes right there in the center. So I'm going to ink that up with some Concord and Ninth Grapefruit and I'm going to ink and stamp it twice because I wanted a deeper intensity of that color there. But like I said, you can repeat this process over and over and over again um, until you have them all stamped in the different colors that you want to uh, use and just, you know, stash them away for future. So now I'm going to take the dies and get those all lined up where I want them um, on top of the images. And then I'm going to take some of this yellow masking tape. You can use washi tape, you, whatever you got. I had this handy, so I just grabbed it. But it was kind of wide, so I just cut it in half using a rotary cutter. So I'm going to anchor those dies down in place. And then I had a little bit of excess left over there on the side. So I'm just going to use that to anchor along the bottom there. And then trim off the excess with my scissors. Then I'm ready to go ahead and just send that through my Gemini Junior die cutting machine. And I'm going to pop all the shells out. And the reason why I like using these strips of tape is because then I have enough wiggle room to pop those shells out. And then I can lay that whole thing right over the next panel of stamped images and send that through my die cutting machine. I don't even have to remove the dies from that. I can just lay it right over another and it will cut through um, that second layer of images just fine. And you can set that aside and save one of those for creating a template the next time you want to do some mass stamping and die cutting and you need everything to be, you know, all in the same spot on your MISTI. So it's great to have all of those ready to go when I need them. And I just store them with the stamp set. Now to do my spot foiling, I'm going to use a Zig 2A glue pen. And this one has kind of a bullet nib. And this is one of those pens where you want to shake it when you first get it and then pump the tip against some scratch paper to get the glue flowing. And it goes on blue and then it will dry clear. And this is a glue that will dry tacky to the touch. But you do need to be patient. It's not going to dry instantly. So I'm just adding spots of glue wherever I think I want to put some foil. And then I'm going to be patient and set that aside to dry while I work on the rest of this. So I'm going to create my shadow box frame by using one of the Essentials rectangle dies. And I made sure that it's more than half an inch deep because I am going to be using this half inch wide scotch foam mounting tape. Now you could use whatever foam strips you got, but I wanted to double this up. And um, because it's half an inch wide, my frame needed to be, you know, half an inch wider just to allow room to cover up all this foam tape. And then I'm going to trim these pieces to the sizes that I need to go around the whole perimeter of my card front. And I'm going to um, mount these pretty close to the edge of my card front um, just to make sure that they're not peaking when I mount the uh, frame over the top. So I just want to make sure that 
that's all concealed. Now my glue is dry on my shell, so I'm going to take some scraps of foil that I always hang on to from other foiling projects and just use those to do my spot foiling. This is a great way to use up your scraps and such an easy way to get some detail foiling onto um, any stamped image that you may have. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've already put some foam tape pieces on the back of each of these shells and I determined where I needed them to sit there inside my frame. I'm going to go ahead and get those mounted and then before I mount the frame itself to the top of the card I'm going to take this uh, strip of vellum. This is that no lovely uh, Essentials vellum which is a nice heavyweight cardstock vellum and I gold embossed You're a Treasure from that set of uh, sentiments. It's a very graceful script and it just coordinates so well with this but I place that onto um, the top of those uh, foam squares and I have some ta uh, tape runner that I put on the frame so that that all gets mounted completely all around and I trimmed off any excess that was overhanging but it looks like that's kind of floating on top of the seashells. It's such a pretty elegant uh, effect and I love showcasing the shells this way. I hope this inspires you to work with those gorgeous elegant shells and thanks for watching.